and look at. So, today we'll be talking about rendering. We'll be talking about uh, special effects. And I understand they say in my business that a picture is worth a thousand words. So I try to prepare a trick for you, which probably looks like this. Frame by frame, little brush. 
paint over it. It took forever, but it took decent. You can find shots on, on the internet archive about his stuff. He was a huge deal at the time. So, let's move step forward, about 100 years. Young Sherlock Holmes. So, the, the night sequence. Has anybody seen this movie by chance? Right. Mm -hmm. Two people. Okay, maybe <laughs> I can tell you what's about. So, this is a priest. This is a knight done in computer graphics. So, I remember when the movie came out, nobody had any idea how they did that. It was insane. So, that's a um, stained window in a church that literally comes out of the frame and starts attacking this priest. He's having an hallucination or something. So, how did they do that? Well, they use computers. They use motion capture. This is Dennis Morton, the greatest visual effects director of all times, blah, 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 whatever you say. They shot a film with, you know, as you can see, squares and a dude, and then they had to measure all the distances and copy them with a pen in the computer. And that's how they did that. And then from that, they just, they just texture painted it to have the knife. So, you know, it was complicated still at the time. So how do we do it now? Well, that's how we do it now. We use computers again. But uh, we gave it a little bit of structure in the last, whatever, 25 years. So um, we make models. We make little you know, puppets in the computer of what our creatures should look like. And then, uh, I should be able to do that, yeah. So, and then we rig them, which means that uh, we make them articulate. We make them movable. And so uh, 